guys. We good? Yes, Chef. Nice to see you again. Here we go. Welcome backstage. Now, this is where the Master Chef magic happens. Right here. Uh, Brady, let's take the one on the left. Make sure there's no creases in there, yes, please. Chef. This Master Chef kitchen is legendary because for over a decade, we've crowned 11 amazing home cooks. The winner of America's first ever Master Chef, Whitney! Who've gone on to leave their mark on the culinary world. Sharon! Claudia! But for every time someone left a winner, hundreds were left craving another chance to become a Master Chef. Your time is done in Master Chef. We're sorry to see you go. This has been amazing. But I believe in second chances. I will carry on. This is not my end. This is actually my beginning. So get ready. This is Master Chef back to win. This year on Master Chef. Oh my God! Is a season of redemption. Can you believe we're back here? We're reopening the doors to some of the most memorable and talented cooks in the competition's history. These all stars will get a second chance to prove that they too deserve the title of Master Chef. Back to win. Let's go. Woo! People are amazing. It's the best of the best. Is that what it takes? Yes, I do. And this time, there is no horsing around. Step up a little bit or go home. That was personal. We're holding these budding culinary professionals to the highest standard in MasterChef history. Allow me to demonstrate. Hold left to right, right to left, half moon shape. Oh, God. And there's even more on the line than before. Because everybody has something to prove. You're going to put the reputation of Spargo on the line. It's what are you trying to do? Close down Spargo? So, if they want to make it to the finale... <laughs> this time, there's zero room for error. Hey, it's raw. How? <laughs> it's not back-to-win material. This is terrible. This is your worst performance in the competition so far. I just don't want to see you go home. If you need it. But if they survive the toughest competition yet, the taste of success will be all the sweeter. I've never tasted anything quite like that before. You play with such beautiful finesse. That was award-winning stuff. You've come a long way, my friend. This is MasterChef back to win. be back in the master chef kitchen you know most people don't get a second chance oh my, oh my god. god can you all believe we're back here i was the season seven runner-up and i didn't win i was so close but master chef changed my life in every single aspect guys let's get our books away for a minute prior to season seven i was an elementary school teacher but now i own my own private chef and catering company oh my goodness there's someone from every season here you've got newton you've got sarah you've got People from seasons one and two and five and six, there's a lot of talent standing behind me. Hey, they better watch out for us. The last time I was in this kitchen, I was 12 years old, and now I'm 20 years old. I could put that dish tonight in my restaurant. Great job. Well, Thank you. It's, it's really exciting. All I want to know right now is where's Thornton? Uh-oh. Oh. Here we go. This is absolutely insanity to be standing here in front of Gordon Ramsay again. It's the greatest honor of my life, and I'm not going to waste it. Welcome back to the MasterChef kitchen, everybody. This is MasterChef back to win. Over 10 years' worth of past competitors right here, including Junior. Shane, you were only 13 when you graced the floor in the MasterChef kitchen last time. I'm a grown man now. We're all so glad to have you back, not as home cooks anymore, but as professionals. Now, last time you were here, clearly you all proved you had incredible natural talent. In fact, one of the only things you didn't get out of your time here was the title of MasterChef. Just like these 11 previous champions, only one of you will go home as America's next Master Chef, and our incredible prize will give you the leg up you need to fully realize your culinary dreams. 
a quarter of a million dollars. A complete brand new state-of-the-art kitchen from Viking. The trophy, and most importantly, the title of Master Chef. It takes some serious cojones to cook right here in the Master Chef kitchen, but it takes even more to come back and win. Now, if you want to wear one of these again, you're going to have to battle each other for it. In these auditions, you'll be cooking in head-to-head -head battles against some of the best cooks this kitchen has ever seen. Since you are all capable of way more than you were last time, we've upped our standards as well. We only have 20 aprons this year. So that means half of you already have one foot out the door. Oh my gosh. You all need to cook us the best comeback dish ever. Mm. Now, to cheer you on, your friends and family. Everyone, please take your seats. Let's kick this off with our first battle of the night. Adrian, season two. Mr. Derek Fox, season six. Randy, season seven. And finally, Natasha, season four. Let's go. Now, all four of you have something unique in common. All four of you made it to the finals of your seasons. You were all runners-up. Derek, what do you think about the competition? On the left and right of you, I know how hard it is to get to the finale and for the confetti to fall for someone else. We all have that in common. America's next great master chef is Claudia! <laughs> to lose in the finale, very hard. I was so close, and I've never been so close to something so life-changing and then just it like falls through your fingertips it's been a heavy weight on my shoulders even though i didn't win master chef changed my life and i remind myself of that every day before master chef i was a struggling drummer living gig to gig now i've been running a private chef business i've been doing pop-ups around the country i'm back to show america that this is my one culinary dream, to be the next master chef. Brandy, what does it mean to be back to win? Gosh, you're gonna get me emotional for even start. You know, it means so much to me. It means everything to me. You know, I was so close last time, but if you're not first, you're last. What's second place? Right, all four of you, the very best of luck. You have 45 minutes to get your hands on that back to win apron. Your time starts now. Let's go. Season 12, back to win. How excited are you, on? For me, I mean, there's nothing better than having redemption, the shot of righting a wrong. And what a round to kick it off. Four runners up, but only two will come out with an apron. More lemons up. At this point, we have to judge them at a more professional level sure. because the level is going to be sky high. Yeah. You've got this, Adrian. Thank you, thank you. Guys, 15 minutes gone, 30 minutes to go. Right, uh, young man, how are you feeling? I got my, uh, my heart in my throat, but other than that, I'm good. Season two, nearly a decade ago. How yeah. does it feel to be back? You know, it was hard to lose, but it was a great opportunity being here to learn from you. I'm Adrian, and on season two of MasterChef, I was the runner-up. The winner is... Jennifer! <laughs> Even though I didn't win, MasterChef significantly changed my life. I've been around the country, working my way up to executive chef, and then opening up restaurants. My love for food definitely comes from my Mexican heritage, and I want to showcase how much I've grown in these 10 years. I want to win, and I'm here to win. Tell me about the dish. What are you doing? It's an homage to Texas. I'm making a New York strip and a little bit of cactus, mushroom, herb emulsion, salsa matcha with bone marrow. Wow, so you're going all out. Try to do a bunch of different things in a short amount of time. <laughs> this sounds amazing. Appreciate it. Good luck. Thank you, Just chef. under 30 minutes to go. Hurt, Chef. Let's go, Brandy. You got this. Woo, that's hot. 
Brandy. Hello, Chevron. Talk to me a little bit about what you're making. I am cooking a cast iron seared venison loin. And it's going to be served over an acorn squash puree with a blackberry demi gloss. What do you think the venison should be? What what temperature? Between rare and medium rare. Beautiful. Let your meat rest right. for the amount of time that you've cooked it. That is why I got my meat in so early. Well, stay composed. Yes. Thank you, Chef. Derek, you got this. So, young man, the dish, what are you doing? I'm doing a crab and ricotta stuffed squid ink agnolotti with a lobster cream sauce. Look at the pasta. That's a touch dry there. I know. So just be smart. And we can only judge you on what you put on that plate. Yes, Chef. Okay. Thank you. Stay calm. Stay calm. Grab that up a bit more. You guys may remember me, Natasha, from season four. Congratulations. Luca! I put my heart into my season, and to make it so close and not win, there's not a day that goes by that I don't think about it. Last time I was in the MasterChef kitchen, I was 26 years old. A lot's changed since then. I was able to start my own catering business. I've been traveling around the world. I've learned so much in the last eight years, and I'm ready to show that I've grown as a person. I'm just back here to have, like, my redemption. Now, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. So, tell me about the dish. What are you doing? So, I am going with a deconstructed cheesecake. Wow. Um, to make one, generally, you're talking about 90 minutes, two hours. How do you deconstruct one in 45 minutes? I just thought I could use the components. I'm just really going to hone in on the taste of it. I can't wait to taste it. Thank you. Good luck. So Derek looks like he's really struggling. He's stressed out. He's a mess. So I'm having trouble with the pasta dough right now. I've spent too much time on this dough, but it's dry and I'm in full panic mode. But this is the most important component on my plate. I didn't come here to not get an apron. So we've got 16 minutes to go, and he's still working on the dough. He's going to be cutting it right to the wire. He might be in a bit of trouble. Take a deep breath. You got this, babe. Oh, my God. So we've got 16 minutes to go, and Derek is still working on the dough. He might be in a bit of trouble. So I'm having trouble with the pasta dough right now, but this is the most important component on my plate. I didn't come here to not get an apron. I gotta just push, and I can do it. It's just adapt and overcome. Right, we're back in control. Back in, Kevin. And look at the pasta, and if it needs a light dusting, dust it and stop it from cracking. Yep. Beautiful, beautiful. We're down to the last 10 minutes. Oh, Adrian! Oh, Adrian! Woo! That smells good. Thank you, thank you. Come on, Derek, you got this, baby. Finish strong. My hands are shaking so bad. Coming down to the last 60 seconds, guys. Come on. All the finishing touches. Amazing performance. Please join us in the restaurant. Let's go. Okay, Adrian, can you please bring your plate? Yes. We have New York strip, potato crumble, cactus pico with a bone marrow salsa macho over the top. What uh, temperature were you going for on the steak? At home, I eat my steaks rare, and I thought, you know what? My flavors are good. It's seasoned right. Rare is good for me. It's a big risk. The cactus pico, delicious. That little sort of crunch, the texture, the heat coming through at the end. The steak does need another three or four minutes. Once you've got those white marbles or fat still running through there, it just confirms insufficient cooking time. But it feels refined. Thank you, Chef. I think you've captured the Mexican palate in this dish, which I really appreciate. Sure. At the end of the day, this dish shows a lot of potential. Good job. Thank you. Thanks, Aaron. Good job, Aaron. Thanks, guys. Brandy, please. I've made for you all a cast iron seared venison loin with acorn squash puree, a blackberry demi-gloss, and the pickled blackberries. How did you season it? Um, I seasoned it with just salt and pepper. I really wanted the venison to shine on its own. 
Well, five years has made quite a difference in your cuisine because this is a very well-executed dish. The acorn squash is heavenly. It's nutty. It has all those beautiful, silky, smooth characteristics. That is a beautiful break from the richness of the venison. And Brandy, you've nailed the venison. It's got that nice gamey flavor to it. It's cooked beautifully. But I disagree with the judges. Um, the puree is too creamy, so it doesn't taste of acorn. Thank you. Thank you. Derek, can you please bring up your dish? We have a crab and ricotta stuffed squid ink agnolotti with a tarragon butter poached lobster with uni on top and a lobster cream sauce. Uh, visually, it looks beautiful. One thing that we grew to admire with you was the finesse, but it's a lot going on there. You've got crab, lobster. Do you need uni on there? I believe so. I think it really elevates the dish another notch. I'll let you know once I've tasted it. Thank you. The lobster's soft, it's seasoned. The pasta itself is good. Even the uni, I thought it would be over the top. It kind of actually works for me. I like it. Yeah, the beauty in this is the sauce for me. I think it has so much flavor. It gets creamy. It totally enrobes the lobster in a beautiful way. I think the only problem I've got with you is editing in terms of lobster, super sweet. Uni, okay. super sweet. And there's insufficient balance. But this dish is good. I'm just concerned about the competition behind you. Thank you. Um, that lobster's cooked beautifully. Oh, my lord. Natasha. I have a deconstructed cheesecake with a brown buttered crumb and a lemon and raspberry filling. When you have deconstructed anything, the danger is that every single element has nowhere to hide. Here's the thing, it tastes good. The lemon component of this dessert is beautiful. I think it's light, it's airy, but I'm not a fan of that dried raspberry powder. That's an opportunity to use the fresh version of it. I understand. The technique is really good in the look. It takes a lot of confidence to come here and do something like a cheesecake and then deconstruct it. And I think this is a reflection of your evolution as a person. I appreciate that. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Thanks, Tasha. Please, all four of you, um, give us a moment. I think it's difficult when you think about the trajectory and how much they want it, but you can see why they were all second place. For sure. It's a tough one. Yeah. I think it's safe to say that this is a very tough decision, but the reality is that there's only two white aprons to give, and the first apron goes to a cook who is not afraid of taking a very difficult ingredient and making it sing on the plate. The apron goes to... Brandy, here's your apron. Congratulations. Outstanding. Thank you so much. You deserve it. This has been a very tough decision, um, but it came down to the tiniest of margins. This apron is going to... This apron is going to... I know, like, how hard this journey is going to be. I've gone all the way to the finale before, so I'm just trying to get back there. Losing 10 years ago, second place, and then coming in and not even getting more opportunity to show what I've learned in the last 10 years, it's a little bit of a disappointment. I'm coming into this competition a different person than I was before. I am just so proud of myself right now. Right, next up, Lindsay. Season 9 Showdown. Come on, Master Chef Gods, why are you doing this to me? Everyone knows Emily and I have history. The last time we saw each other, I sent her home. So you know she's not coming to play. You've all got 45 minutes, and your time starts now. Let's go.
think how competitive season nine was. We know they're super fierce, but only two of them will be graced with an eight tonight. Julia, what do you got going on? Talk to me. I've got a nice uh, Italian almond cake mm -hmm. with some amaretto cherries, espresso marscarpone mousse, and a little chocolate ganache. Guys, remember me? It's Julia from season nine, your favorite Italian from Chicago. I need fries now! Hey, 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 let's bring it down. Oh, my God. Last time I was here on season nine, I had the heart, the determination, the drive, but I didn't quite make it to the top. I'm gonna do the same thing that I did the first time, but I'm gonna do it even better because now I'm gonna go to the end. Do you feel like you can nail this? Really Absolutely. You know what? Growing up, we always had Amaretto di Serono in our house and yeah. their Amaretti cookies, and that was my inspiration to make this. I love that. Good luck. Thank you. Right. Welcome back, girl. Uh, absolute pleasure to see you. Pleasure to be here. I'm Lindsay. I'm 44 years old, and I am back to win. On season nine, I don't think that anybody got to see what kind of cook I could become in the kitchen. You have such a fighting spirit. You're resilient. Tonight wasn't your night. But MasterChef was a springboard to catapult me into a culinary world full-time. Before MasterChef, I was an attorney. After MasterChef, I own and operate a bakery and cafe with my wife, Stephanie. How's this dish tonight going to separate yourself from the competition? So I'm making a chicken and dumplings, so we're elevating it. We're doing some Parisian-style gnocchi. Love that. With a chicken roulade stuffed with kale and shiitake mushrooms. We'll still have some gravy on there, but it won't be so smothered that you can't get that nice crisp out of the gnocchi. There was very little that ever fazed you back in season nine. Nothing's gonna phase me this time either, Chef. It's so good to see you back. Good luck. All right. Just 34 minutes remaining. Come on, let's keep it going. How's it taste, Dad? Really good. Right, how are you feeling? Good. Doing a uh, blue crab and mascarpone stuffed tortelloni. Uh, wow. It's got a lemon beurre blanc sauce. This sounds amazing. Super complicated to pull off tonight with 45 minutes. We were mortified when you left. That was a shock. Last time I was here on season nine, I made a mistake that sent me home. You can either take one person to go up against, or you can save just yourself. I'm gonna choose to go head to head with Shanika. I'm ready. Wow. Oh my God. Oh no, our cake fell over. The person leaving the Master Chef kitchen is Emily. That moment is something that I do think about often. Let's just say, if given the opportunity to save myself or try to send someone else home, I will be saving myself. I was crushed when it when I it let it slip through my fingers the first time. So having a second opportunity, you can bet I'm not going to make the same mistakes. Just, just over 30 minutes to go. Good luck. Thank you. Hi, Shanika. Welcome back. Joe. How are you doing? I'm doing good. What are you making today? I am making strawberry arancini. Arancini? Stuff with the, yeah, stuff with the honey goat cheese. A sweet arancini? A sweet arancini. Is there a lot of love between season nine? I have fond <laughs> memories of that season. It's love, hate. It's love, hate. <laughs> we love each other. I'm, you and her, maybe not so much. Maybe not so much. Okay. <laughs> I've battled Emily before, and what got me through that is me staying 100% focused. And tonight, I'm going to take that same energy because getting this apron gets me one step closer to becoming one of the greatest female chefs of my generation. So I am not going down without a fight. <laughs> so you think sweet arancini is a good way to go here, huh? It's a little bit risky, no? It is very risky, but Joe, this is Master Chef season 12. You're going to go big or go home. Excellent. 30 minutes down. Last 15 minutes remaining. Come on, ladies. Come on. Well, let me brown my butter. So Lindsay's making a sort of chicken and dumpling dish. They look delicious. That's good. Beautiful. So Julia is going to make this almond cake. Yeah, out of these four women, Julia actually got the highest in season nine. She came seventh. The performance a few years back was extraordinary. Yeah. Emily is doing a hand roll tortellini. Joe, can pasta be made that quickly? Yeah, you should rest the pasta a little bit more. But look, Emily's not stupid. So maybe she can accelerate the pasta process. It's looking good. All right, we gotta go in. Shanika, she's doing her take on arancini with strawberries. I mean, we know arancini comes from leftover risotto, but to take a leap of faith and do a dessert, big risk. It's one of those tricky dishes. There we go. Finish strong, finish strong! I'm just waiting on this damn cake. Julia's cake is not out of the oven yet. We've got just over six minutes to go. How do you fast track a cake? You don't, you can't. Oh, this is gonna go down for a while. And you know cakes need time to rest, isn't it? That's extremely important. 
same kick is gonna be the death of me. Julian's cake is not out of the oven yet. And you know cakes need time to rest. How do you fast track a cake? You don't. You can't. Same kick is gonna be the death of me. This is gonna go down for a while. Three and a half minutes remaining. Come on, keep it going. Judas cake's out. Cake is done. Beautiful. Thank God. 60 seconds remaining. One minute. Season 9 showdown shakes out. Go, go, girls. This is probably going to be the most competitive season in the history of MasterChef because everybody has something to prove. Yay! Okay, Lindsay, please step forward. So this is a take on a chicken and dumpling. So I've got some Parisian style gnocchi with a chicken roulade and pan gravy. And the pan sauce is a roux? Pan sauce is a roux, yes. When you're cooking out a roux base, it takes time for that flour to disappear. And I've got a little bit of floury taste, but dumplings, exquisite. They're crisp on the outside, light and fluffy in the middle. To accomplish that in 45 minutes, it's hard to Gotta believe. Gotta push yourself and go big. This is, this is not regular MasterChef. We've all been here before. We gotta step our game up, every one of us, if we wanna go You on. are exactly right. You know, Lindsay, this dish has a lot of flavor. It's rich and it's rustic and it's well executed. Good job. Thanks, Chef. Thanks, Lindsay. Thank you, Lindsay. Miss Julia, can you please bring up your dish? What I made for you is an Italian almond cake with an espresso mascarpone mousse, some Serrano braised cherries, and some almond glass. Why dessert when you're up against three very strong ladies and you've only had 45 minutes? Not a lot of people bake here. So I don't mind having the challenge, and I want to let them know that I can get this done in 45, so maybe they would be a little nervous. I like the choices that you made thinking about how it was going to be composed. You have a creamy element, you have something that's tart. I like the flavor a lot. Reminds me of my childhood growing up. My question I ask myself, is this enough to play at this level? The dish is good, but the big question is, is it good enough? It's not your average season. Thank you. Thank you. Next up, Emily, please. Floured crab and mascarpone tortellini in a lemon beurre blanc with a seasoned crab salad. Emily, visually it looks beautiful, but big risk making pasta, giving it time to rest. You started rolling that 20 minutes in. And what's in the filling? It is uh, crab and mascarpone cheese, some shallots and chive. Pasta beautifully manipulated. Just be careful when you add that mascarpone cheese. It's distracting from the actual flavor of the crab, so it sweetens everything up. But the dish oozes precision and gives us all a stern reminder how early you left this competition. But what you have here is truly elegant. The flavors are clear, they're clean and robust. Thank you. This is the kind of dish that perhaps could get you to compete with the best of the best. Thank you. Thanks. Shanika, please bring us your dish to try. I have here for you guys a strawberry arancini with a honey goat cheese filling, strawberry balsamic syrup reduction. I hope it tastes better than it looks because it doesn't uh. look that appetizing as a dessert. <laughs> Heard, Chef. But I just hope that you like this, Joe. Mmm. That's a curveball for you. Yeah, my, uh, my palate's bouncing all over the place. What do you think, Shanika? Do you think I like it or I hate it? What do you 
think, Shanika? Do you think I like it or I hate it? <sighs> I think you might like it. This dish is incredible. Like, the rice is perfectly cooked. The flavors are balanced. The sauce is a little excessive, but the rice ball itself, top notch. Is it a little too sweet on some notes? Yeah, but there's a good acidity, and that's helping a lot. Thank you, Chef. I don't know if it is as good as Joe and Aron make out, but it's not supposed to work. And bizarrely, it actually tastes quite nice. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Thank you. Ladies, please give us a moment. We have a lot to discuss. Um, since it'd be very tough. It's getting real. Is that a flu? Which one is? I don't know if she just got lucky. I have no idea. Lindsay took a risk with those dumplings. It actually tasted quite decent. That was quite good, good, yeah. Julia's cake was a very bold move to put that dish up for an apron. So the first apron, this is a chance for redemption. It's a chance to right a wrong. And that apron goes to Emily. Great job. This is for you. I hope you can take this and learn from all the mistakes you made before, I right? Will. Okay. I oh my god. We have one more apron for this group. Wasn't easy. The good news is that the chef that will be moving forward has definitely redeemed herself since season nine. The bad news is that. Shanika, you're gonna have to find a way to get along with Emily. I'm Come get your apron. Oh. Thank you, chefs. Emily and I have an apron. That means this fight is not over. Apron is that validation and saying I was eliminated too early. So now I'm bringing back what I left on the table and more. I'm so ready. Congrats. Thank you, Lindsay. Listen, it's not the desired outcome, but I'm leaving Master Chef with a great sense of pride. I went out there, I killed it, so I walk away with my head held high. Thank you very much. You ready for the next battle? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Wuta, season 10. How does it feel to be back here? It feels amazing. <laughs> Gotta show you what I can do now. Amanda, season 6. I know that you have your family here cheering you on. Lexi, season 11 phenomenon. Thank you. And lastly, Christian, season 5. You're a super confident guy. Do you have any doubts tonight looking at these cooks left and right of you? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> right, you guys ready? Yes, yes, chef. Chef. 45 minutes. Your time starts now. Thank you. Right, young lady, welcome back. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness me. I still have nightmares on the last time we left this competition. Well, on season six, I went home way too early. My kick was raw. That's raw. I know. Tell us about the dish. What are you making? I'm making a zaatan olive oil cake. Another cake <laughs> of all the nights. Why cake? Because I had a bakery shop, and I've been able to bake thousands of cakes since really make my name as a cake baker. We're so glad to have you back. Thank you so much, Chef. Good luck. Let's go. What do you got going on? Talk to me. You know I'm about to swag drip this food. Look, I'm old. What is swag drip? A lot of style. Oh, that style. Orale. Swag drip. After MasterChef season 10, I didn't just go back to being a teacher. I've been in the kitchen. And now I am a private chef, and I want the judges to see how I've elevated my palate throughout the last three years. Now, this dish, talk to me a little bit about it. It's a shrimp burger. It's encrusted in panko, so we're going to have that crunch, that crunch that you need. And I like that. Yes, sir. All right, keep on it, buddy. Go, Lexi! Yeah. Lexi. Yes. Tell me about the dish. What are you making? I have pincered scallops with um, fried calamari and herb salad and a garlic cream sauce. Wow. You didn't even touch any of those ingredients last time around. No, I did not. I was too scared to. When I was here last, I was definitely an amateur cook who was cooking on a budget. My budget's like $40 a week for groceries, which is... A week? What? Yeah. I cooked for my family and my husband, and that was about it. And now I have a small business where I cook for other people, and they love my food. And just feeding off of that has given me so much more confidence, and I, I know that I can do this. Yeah. Be smart with that dish. Taste everything. Yes. Get your hands on that apron. Thank you. Thank you so much.
Hi, young man. Tell me about this. What are you doing? I'm making a bourbon glazed salmon served with a creamy mashed potato and a sautéed shallot white wine spinach. What I love about you is that you keep yourself super busy. Yes. But you've also been a prolific private chef. Yes. When you do so well at home, yes. and you've got that reputation, why come back? Why come back? Because I love what I do and I'm passionate. I mean, I want to win this. You know, I just lost my grandmother last year, so I'm sorry. This is for her. Of course. You yeah. focus and you make sure yeah. you send that message up there yes, and you're sir. back to win. The passion for cooking comes from, you know, my late grandmother. She, she could bake her ass off. You know, I learned a lot from my grandmother. Me and her had a relationship that I'll never get from anybody else. For her to see me on my season, like, I know she's looking down. And I know she's, she's proud. Good luck. Thank you, chef. It's not raw. That's good. One minute remaining. Let's go. Ah. Taste everything. This is where it counts. Start dressing, Christian. Don't leave that too late. Go, Amanda. That looks beautiful. Come on, Christian. Let's go, babe. The chef. Christian, don't want nothing on the plate. What is Christian doing? Dishes through and follow us into the Master of Restaurant. Thank you. This is going to be tough, guys. Wuta, can you please bring your dish forward? So I have my shrimp burger with chili garlic, sriracha, aioli sauce, and some homemade tots. Wuta, very few chefs dare to put shrimp in a burger. If this is cooked beautifully, then you're back to win. Yes, chef. This dish is perplexing. I don't know why I like it so much, but it's just straight up delicious. I love the courage elevating the concept of a shrimp burger up to top level. But is that good enough to get back in this competition? That's a really tough question. Thank you, Rudolph. Christian, show us your dish. What I've prepared for you is a bourbon glazed salmon with creamy mashed potato in a sauteed garlic spinach. It looks straightforward. That being said, the simplicity of the dish, everything's got to be perfect. You feel confident with the cook on the fish? Yes. All right. Wow, he's back. Christian, the salmon's cooked beautifully. Uh, what I love is the crispiness of it, and then you got that nice bourbon glaze on top. You extracted all the beautiful flavor from the bourbon. It's woody, it's nutty. I mean, it's, it's, it's rocking. Good job. Thank you. Lexi, please. I have hand-seared scallops and fried calamari and a lemon cream sauce. Lexi, these scallops are cooked beautifully. Love the acidity. Not a big fan of the calamari. Oh. The sauce for me is a miss. It's kind of grainy. The pickled salad, the greens, very, very nice contrast to the acidity. You did very, very well. Amanda, please bring us your desserts. Thank you. Today I made for you a zatar olive oil cake, lemon sesame snow, and some pulled sugar. It looks stunning, shall we? Amanda, um, that cake's delicious. Let's get that right. The cake is moist, light. It's very, very evocative, very delicious. Have the confidence to soak a little bit of that sponge. It just warrants a touch more olive oil. 
The competition is rife, and so to come in... In Back to Win with a cake. When in season six, it was a cake that sent you home. It's a very, very, very courageous move. Thank you. Four incredible dishes, and clearly this means a lot for all of you. As you know, we only have two aprons to award. And our first apron goes to... Christian. Here you go. Well done, Nico. Thank you. Here you go. You make us proud. All right, brother? I'm not going to let y'all down. Congratulations. Well done. Good job. Great job. I got what I came in for. I know my grandmother's proud. I just got to win now. All right, guys. Three very different dishes. Only one apron left to give. This is a difficult one, but this last apron goes to... Amanda. I just won an apron for the second time, and I did it on a cake. <laughs> Most people don't get second chances, so I'm so incredibly proud and excited, and I just want to do the best that I possibly can. Next time, the Back to Win audition battles continue. So far, we've given out six aprons, which leaves 14 up for grabs. As more returning faces, including Junior. I have unfinished business in the MasterChef kitchen. Fight to get their hands on the coveted MasterChef apron. I'm back to win. That's right. Well, I'm back. The competition is fierce. We got a lot of fine cookery going on tonight. No mistakes can be made. Shaky. What's K2? You know as well as I do that that's wrong. One potato, two potato.